Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so as I always say if you are a day trader then you need to listen to everything but you need to absorb or accept only the things that are required and if you absorb or believe in everything then it does not matter how good of a trader you are or how good strategy you follow they will all fail because at the back of your head those unnecessary things will keep playing with your mind with your thought process and as a result of which you will not be able to take the right decisions now the things that you should be avoiding are numerous okay and among them one such thing that affects most of the traders thought process is the pre-market and in technical terms we say it as pre-market analysis so in this video we will discuss about the pre-market and and whether you should be concentrating on it or not and again if you are a day trader then make sure that you watch this video okay so first thing first what is pre-market so basically pre-market is a trading period that ranges from 9 a.m. Indian Standard Time till 9 8 a.m. Indian Standard Time which is actually before the regular market hours if you go a bit deeper the pre-market happens actually from 9 a.m. IST till 9 14 a.m. IST and the breakup will be like from 9 a.m. till 9 8 a.m. the things that happen are order collections uh, order modifications order cancellations and uh, some other stuffs like that and from 9 9 a.m. till 9 14 a.m. the things that happen are order matching uh, trade confirmations and most importantly a smooth transition into the regular market hours that starts at 9 15 a.m. Indian Standard Time okay now please remember that we don't have to get into the details of all these things that I just mentioned as a trader you just need to know what all happen in the pre-market on a higher level and we don't have to go into the tits and bits of it so a lot of things happen in the pre-market but if we summarize it all what actually is being done in the pre-market is that the opening prices of the stocks are decided okay in trading terms it's called as open price discovery so I hope you got the clear picture on a higher level as to what exactly pre-market is all about. Now, moving on to the main question, can we use the pre-market data in order to make decisions for intraday trading or not? Well, the blunt and the direct ans answer that I have for you is no. If you want to be a successful day trader, do not depend on the pre-market data. See, once the market opens up, we all see it every single day, how volatile the market remains for the first 15 or for the first 30 minutes, right? Now, if we cannot rely on the first 15 to 30 minutes post the market opens, then how can we even consider to rely on the data that we have even before the market had opened? I mean, it's common sense, right? Now, talking about another perspective on pre-market, you might have heard many of those guys who talk about pre-market analysis. They say that they get, uh, they get to know in which direction the market might flow by doing the pre-market analysis. Now, come on guys, it does not even take seconds for the market data or the stock's price to change when it is 9.15 a.m. Right? If you don't believe me, then just have an eye on the stock prices at 9.14 a.m. and at 9.15 a.m. when the market starts. You will know what I'm talking about exactly. Okay, so coming back to the point, if they can know in which direction the market will flow just by seeing the pre-market data, then it, it would not take those guys to be millionaires, right? Within days, they should be earning in millions, right? So every morning, just do the pre-market analysis and take a trade in the required direction according to the pre-market analysis and sit back and earn money. That should be as simple as it is, right? But is that the fact? 
that is not the fact okay we don't earn money like that if this is the case then why does technical analysis even exist why does price action analysis even exist right just think just think logically and you will get the answer as to whether you should rely on the pre-market data or you should not be relying on that particular data okay now moving on further please remember that pre-market is for the biggies and we are not the biggies whatever profits they had they have to make most of the chunk of it is being made in the pre-market itself and the truth is we cannot even guess or think or anticipate anything that goes sorry that those biggies are doing in the pre-market okay and that's exactly what differentiates between a retail trader like us and the biggies like the FIIs, the DIIs, the HNIs etc etc okay so it is always better to stay within the limits and wait for the market to stabilize and then wait for your setup or strategy to give you a green signal to trade and if you fall into the trap of the pre-market analysis then be sure that you will be given you will be giving away all your capital to the market and actually you are not giving your money to the market you are actually giving the money to someone else who is more patient than you who does not do a pre-market analysis yeah so be wise and be smart while making the choices guys because trading is such a thing that will test you to the core okay and you cannot have a jo hoga dekha jayega attitude okay so i hope this would impart some good cognizance in regards to the pre-market thing and that you will not fall in trap of those unnecessary things like the pre-market analysis and i don't understand why people fail in keeping the things simple Keep it simple, guys, and I bet if you keep it simple, it will be beautiful. Okay, so that's it from my end, guys, and for the guys who have not watched my previous uh, video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of this video, the eye symbol that you see there. You can click on it and watch my previous video, and as always, would request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also, please do not miss the ending of this video as you might get some more information about HYIT that might be helpful to you in some way or the other, and please feel free to ask your questions or queries, if any, in the comment section, and I will surely reply back to them, and also, so please do not forget to like this video if you liked it. So that's all from my end and I will see you all later. Hope you all will stick back, happy trading and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.